Hello, in this message I wanted to record um, an explanation of a deterioration and an abandonment of old structures and the old ways of living uh, in everything that is happening in our world right now uh, and kind of the the energy and the the flow of change that is required for the new um, shift to take place or for the new paradigm of being to come about into fruition. And so the what you might be experiencing from this three-dimensional standpoint or three-dimensional standpoint of your everyday life is that uh, things no longer fit, uh, things no longer can call themselves home within your being, your physical form. And so if you are trying to apply yourself to things uh, that you used to participate in or used to get involved with, um, you will notice um, um, influxes or agitations of self whenever dealing in situations that in the past have been very comfortable uh, and very um, easy for you to get involved with. And so if you are experiencing that, the explanation um, that I'm offering here is that your, your mind, your emotional self, your, your energetic being has now shifted its trans, um, um, transmission of self into a new set of um, requirements and frequencies that you're now uh, being aligned with or choosing to align yourself with, right? And so if your physical three-dimensional form um, is experiencing discomfort, it is because you are still attempting to or you're still uh, trying to walk into a situation or continue to live a form of your living which no longer resonates with your new choice of self, your higher self. So your higher self uh, has a directive, it has a direction that it is being guided to um, in the unified field um, of consciousness. Uh, and so that decision that you have already made for yourself, uh, I will say long ago in the sense of time, uh, but you know, it, 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 because there's no sense of time, it's the decision that you're making for yourself right now at times and all times and all versions of yourself. Uh, now carrying an energetic frequency. And that energetic frequency is basically kind of vortexing around your being, your energetic consciousness, and basically uh, pulsating and propulsing and um, propagating within it the energy that it wants to stay involved with and an energy that it wants to propagate itself forth with, right? So there's this resonance that you're now vibrating. Uh, and so the old ways that no longer fit with this resonance, uh, the old behaviors that no longer fit with this resonance, um, in no way can coincide with this new propulsion of yourself, new new spiral vertex uh, of your their being, of recognition of your being. And so um, by default, as this uh, propagation of energy um, amplifies its resonance and basically becomes this this hovering object around uh, yourself, your higher energetic being is basically dictating um, the truth of your truth, right? And the truth of your truth, truth unfortunately, uh, fortunately in the truth, but uh, from your physical standpoint, can no longer retain or keep or accept uh, things that are not truth and have never been, in fact, um, there as truth. And so you're shedding off um, everything that no longer serves or being naturally with, without actually having to use your mind uh, or your like emotional senses. Um, your your three-dimensional senses are, are, are kind of uh, nullified in their existence um, when it comes to your true discernment of your truth and then the energies around you, right? And so there would be no way possible, uh, like quite literally, no way for you to to try to keep or maintain uh, or e even hold on to 
the old status quos that that in no way fit into in this energetic uh, buoyant vortex of your being and so you're just you're just i mean they're literally just flying off of you and the bouncing off of you and you and so beating yourself you know against the wall trying to have the old the old things the old stuff uh, somehow work or fit in uh you know would be uh would be you know equivalent to um you know if we're living for to to a fish living out of water right like uh, us uh you know, survival <laughs> depends on your existence in a specific environment that you are in fact creating for yourself. And that specific environment right now is being driven by your own determination and your own decision of self to to choose to live in your truth. And so your own sovereign decision right now is driving everything out of your being uh, that no longer fits uh, that paradigm that no longer fits your own personal truth. And so as much as we um, try to live like a fish out of water, um, you know, there's, there's no use in committing, um, you know, self, self jeopardizing of self. Um, if, if you, if you belong, if your being has already made a choice uh, into a way of living. And so, so release, surrender into your own self not the words that are coming out of my mouth not any channel messages not any any teachers or any any gurus that that are are saying something to you that this is not something that you have to do there's nothing for you to do other than simply surrender into your own being surrender into your own truth uh, you are, are have you have always been and are in fact um very much are guiding your path in life uh in the choices that you will make um but but now that you have stepped into your sovereign space of decision making your sovereign space of choice uh you are no longer choosing to align yourself with untruth um and what's what's it, it being more fascinating to me from a three-dimensional standpoint is you're no longer choosing to align yourself with untruth of your own choosing um which to me is very endearing is that you you know i as tanya in my three-dimensional form has chose to live in, in these propagations of our own untruth of my own untruth for so long um that now it almost seems comical uh, but at the same time fascinating and endearing to to realize that uh my own paradigm that i have lived and i chose to create in the past um is so uh finite and limiting and um self-selecting and so into oppression into uh diminishing of my own being um that that now that i'm recognizing the choice of myself to live my truth i can no longer limit my own personal selections uh, to my old ways of status quo right my old ways of limitation, of self-deprecation, of uh, lessening, uh, of of personal ways of manipulation of self that I have gotten so used to and used for so long, literally no longer fit my being. Like I can, I can no longer energetically fit them into my 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 energetic form. Right. So through my energy work i'm recognizing just this field around me is driving my decision but that field around me is in fact me right but now with my sovereign state of choice i'm choosing an outcome that serves my highest good uh not because i know what i'm doing uh not because all of a sudden i have a new set of awarenesses around me and all is clear and all is understood so i do want to say that that process is still coming on board right that that awareness and clarity um but what it is come what is like 120 percent in is the fact that the old ways of self-manipulation no longer fit uh, into my my new paradigm of self my own my new paradigm of living and so um just let go or simply surrender don't don't no need to let go just realize things that are no longer fitting are not supposed to fit 
They might have had a place in the past and they might have had a way of functioning or being there or teaching you a lesson or allowing you to suppress your being in some sort of way or form, but that will no longer work. And so, so to that extension, I want to emphasize that what that also means is some people no longer fit. Uh, some actions of self no longer fit. Um, some some ways of living or working or um, eating or exercising or not exercising uh, or not eating or or you know things will no longer fit. So to me, I wanted to explain this from a three dimensional standpoint. Uh, how it has been propagating itself within the last um, probably three or four years, right? I can no longer process certain foods, right? I'm I'm vegetarian, and it did not start by choice of me, you know, going into the why all the vegetarians are vegetarians. It it just simply no longer resonated with my body. My body can no longer carry a frequency of specific foods, meats being one of them, right? Um, I can no longer uh, wear jewelry or 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 have my fingernails painted. That that is probably you know three or four year old uh, addition to myself too. Um, I mean maybe two two year old three or two or two three year old. I hear here I am in three dimensional form, like trying to think as I'm channeling, which is kind of funny. And so so my energetic signature of self. Um, no longer resonates with the message of what having nail polish did or did not do or what having jewelry did or did not do, right? Uh, My style of clothing has shifted. um, And so energetically, I can no longer uh, converse with or even feel comfortable in things that I have felt comfortable in before. Um, the relationship that I have with people completely shifted. You know, that is a whole um, other set of experiences. But I can no longer have a false relationship with anyone around me. So that 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 old way of pretense, that old way of of having a, a conversation that was really about nothing no longer resonates with my being. Um, you know, working in a specific way has also shifted. So I can no longer work in the way I used to work. Now, I tend to do the same things uh, in, in, you know, in my three-dimensional, you know, uh, money-making way. But but then how I do it and what I do or the nuance of it has changed, right? So I did not quit my job. I was already self-employed, so I'm still self-employed. Uh, but now my my creativity has shifted, or or where I'm placing my attention has shifted. Um, what else resonates with me? Uh, desire to do certain things, um, or even the actions under like daily actions, my daily routines uh, have shifted. Um, even even pre-COVID, like the my daily routine was a very very secluded. And very internalized, and so you know, a lot of times, um, into in reflection and meditation, and I was driven into that even pre-COVID. Uh, obviously, COVID amplified that a great bit, but in the most uh, endearing and fascinating way. Um, and the type of people that I meet, you know, have shifted. The type of people that I choose to socialize with and and actually even resonate with have shifted. Um, if I'm no longer energetically aligned with beings. I can no, I can simply no longer walk into those experiences of my life, and so like it is forcing myself into a certain situation, or force or forcing myself into a certain scenario is almost suicidal. Uh, to where I notice my health deteriorates, I notice my being suppresses, and so because because now more than ever I am able to feel that natural alignment of my being. Um, I'm able to very cognitively discern that I cannot no longer function as a fish out of water because that leads to death, right? And so discernment, um, but at the same time, surrender. So learn to discern, but discern lies in surrender. And so the discernment doesn't even have to happen if you simply live into the surrender of yourself. And so um, I hope that is helpful. So just just recognize the change. Uh, maybe see. It, you know, take some time and see how this is registering on your end. I gave you some examples of me in my three-dimensional form. 
but how it interprets into you could be uh, completely different. And so through your intuitive knowing, right, um, feel your heart center. Um, and then feel if it is being pulled towards something or if it actively closes when something comes about, right? So that is how you would use your intuition. Um, if your stomach goes into the nuts, you know, and just kind of locks up and you're almost nause nauseous uh, to the idea of something, uh, that is how you would use intuition. Like very easily you would say, okay, this is not something that is registering with me. And sometimes I will I will amplify or amplify and emphasize that it is hard to walk away from something that you have possibly have been part of all your life. And it's extremely hard to to break away from a pattern that you have gotten so used to. But but those feelings within you, right? Your internal body energy systems are guiding you into feeling right and so nausea uh i have programmed nausea is a great way for me to be able to intuitively discern what what uh it works and what no longer works and that open heart feeling and that magnetism that you would feel towards something is a great way to say oh look my body is guiding me into this experience right and so you will naturally just kind of you propagate your life and, and position your life to the best way um, of your living uh, through the listening to the higher guidance of your own self. The, the key is your own self. Uh, not me, not your parents, not your siblings, not your friends, not your acquaintances, not your coworkers, not anyone, quite literally just your own self. And, and so that, that individualized recognition is extremely important right now. You're recognizing your own individual being in your own needs. And so the the, the notions of self-love come into that. And so that is what means for you to love yourself is to recognize those energetic pools and those energetic vortexes that you're creating that are in fact feeding your self-love. And I think I'll be making the next video on that. Um, but that is what it means for you to love yourself. And so, um, but, but at this time for this video, please discern into your alignment, realizing that the old ways could potentially need to go and should go um and then and then what will you choose to make your truth forward or, or will you listen to your heart to allow your truth live so thank you